Hey girls. Hey girls. Hey girls. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be storing and organizing some photo cards into my binders. I have quite a bit to store today. I realize it's been like two months since I filmed one of these. So yeah, that kind of explains why I have so much to store today. I did quite a bit of trading in the last few months and I also got a Naokyo haul in and we have all my Dojejung stuff to store away. So yeah, there's quite a bit of variety in the groups which I'm excited about and my collections have changed quite a bit since the last time I did one of these videos. So I'll kind of go through that as we go. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say in this intro. So let's get going. Okay, let's start with my Jaehyun binder. This binder has changed in that I took all of his pobs and fansign photo cards out of here because this binder was just getting way too full and it was kind of stressing me out. I felt like the cards in the front were getting damaged because of how full it was. So I just decided to move his fansigns out of here. And now there's just like his album photo cards in here and then a few like random merch stuff as well but we'll get to his pops in a bit but i do have a few album pcs to store like some very exciting <laughs> album photo cards that i can't believe i have in my possession right now so yes let's go here i have both of his final round kinos i cannot believe that i have these there was a moment in time on Mercari Japan where these were like, I don't want to say they were cheap because they weren't cheap, but they were like the price of the Kino. And that is a price I'm willing to pay for these cards because they are just like very overpriced in general. So I was super happy to find them on Mercari Japan. And now this page is done, a page of Jaehyun Kinos. It looks so amazing. I literally thought I would never ever own Tattoo Jaehyun. So yeah, this is, this is a big moment for me in my Jaehyun collecting career. So, so happy with that. Next we have this. I have his Japanese photo book exclusive photo card from Two Baddies, finally. <laughs> This was definitely the hardest one to come by. I did join a group order for it though, so works for me. And now Two Baddies is done. So in here, because I collected OT9 for the three like regular album versions. So these are his Nemo photo cards. This is the Target exclusive. This is the Japanese photo book exclusive. This is the Korean photo book exclusive. This is the international uh, Digipack exclusive, the Korean, Digipack exclusive and the Japanese Digipack exclusive. So I collected both photo book versions, the Digipack and the international photo book exclusive OT9. So those are in my big binder for NCT, but yes, we are finally done. How many months later? but I'm happy with the progress that I made. And then here we have the SMCU stuff. So I am finishing this today. I have all three of his um, SMCU palace cards. Oh, and I should say, I should have said this in the intro. I actually filmed this video a few weeks ago, but um, when I sat down to edit the footage last week, it was just terrible. I filmed in natural lighting and my um, room just doesn't get great natural light so it did not look good so i decided to refilm it so i don't have any of the like fillers or white papers um that i had in the binder originally because i obviously had taken all of those out so yeah this might not be as satisfying but i hope you all still like it anyways but yeah so i have his guest version photo card the membership photo card and the palace photo card and this card is one of my favorite jaehyun cards of all time i think he looks so good so really happy to have that and so happy that this is done oh my god crying and then here on this page i'm gonna be storing his two perfume box version photo cards so for doje jung i'm collecting all of the cards except for the box versions at least for right now but I'm collecting all of Jaehyun's box version cards. So I'm gonna put two of them in this binder and then the other one will be in my bigger binder with the rest of the cards. So I just have this one here, so pretty. And I do have this one secured and on the way. So this will be done soon. And then down here, I'll continue. I think there's gonna be a full group NCT comeback later this year. So I'll be collecting him for that and yeah. 
but that's it for this binder. This binder is pretty empty now, which I like. I don't feel like it's overflowing. Um, my thoughts for this binder are I am going to be putting the member of NCT Tokyo or whatever their name is going to be in here. I am planning on collecting a member of NCT Tokyo, so I think he will fit in here just fine. I'm only planning on collecting that member's album photo card, so his collection shouldn't really grow that quickly. So I think putting him in here with Jaehyun's album photo cards will be fine. But yeah, that was it for my Jaehyun binder today. Next we can do my Yeti binder. I only have one card to put away in this binder, but it is collection completing. So I figured I would still film it. This is exciting. And it is this SMCU Palace. This is her mm, guest version photo card. I had to think for a second. And yes, so this is Yeti complete for SMCU very very happy about this. Didn't prioritize getting the IDs for any of the members that I collect but if I do ever stumble upon Yeti's membership ID I'll probably just put it here next to this one but that's not like a huge priority for me right now. Um, in Yeti's binder I did move all of her pre-order benefits and fan sign cards into this binder just to free up some room in the other binder so yeah I honestly don't know if I'm going to be collecting her pobs as thoroughly next comeback i kind of want to take a step back from pre-order benefit collecting because it's just getting a lot with all of the people that i collect fan sign cards for so i don't know we'll see whenever the next red velvet comeback is i don't think they will be having a comeback anytime soon so i don't really need to worry about it right now but yeah it's just something i'm thinking about but that was it for Yeti. Next we have a new binder. Well, this binder isn't new, but the groups I have in here are like newly organized, I guess you could say. So yes, this binder is my Stacy and Espa binder. So for Stacy, I am now collecting my top two. I have been on a journey with my Stacy collection these past few months. Like it has been kind of crazy. So if you've been around here before, you know I collect Suman. I collect all of her album photo cards, Korean and Japanese. Japanese and I collect most of her pre-order benefits or at least I have been collecting those things for her and during teddy bear era I was planning on starting my top three photo card collection for Korean album but honestly it got to be too much pretty quickly not gonna lie so I was going to collect Suman, Aiza, and Sehun they are my top three and Stacy. and yeah it was just kind of like a series of unfortunate events with my Sehun collection like I had traded for about five or six of Sayon's Korean album photo cards with someone and that um that mail never arrived I don't know if they scammed me I don't know if it got lost in the mail but either way it never arrived to me and that just kind of like sucked all the motivation that I had right out of me took all the wind out of my sails and so yeah, at first I was gonna just stick with collecting Suman, but when I was reorganizing this collection, I realized I was almost done with Isa's Korean album PCs, so I've decided to keep collecting her for now. But yeah, it, it has been... <laughs> It has been a journey to get here. So yeah, I have them stored in this cute little A5 binder. Lab actually released a few new colors for their A5 binders, and I ordered two of them one in a new color and one in an old color. So I'm gonna move all of the um, collections in here um, into a new binder and I'm gonna do a video on it. But, so this is just kind of like a temporary home for them, but this is the current setup. And we do have quite a few cards to put away. So I think we're gonna start with stereotype today. Yes, so these sleeves are kind of dusty. Um, I have these two Isa photo cards for this page. Oh my god, Princess Isa. This card was what stopped me from collecting Isa for a really long time because we all know how infamous this PC is. I actually bought a stereotype album to complete my album collection for Stacey and I pulled this card. So I was like, this is a sign from the universe. Like this is meant to be. So yes. Very happy to have her and happy to have this one as well. Her stereotype cards are definitely, I think, the hardest ones to come by in this day and age, but very happy that this page is done now. And then for this page, I have this really cute card. Really like this one. Oops. Go. Still looking for this card. It's the one where she's doing like the heart cheek. And I think honestly, that is probably the most difficult 
stereotype photo card for me to find. Obviously, I got very lucky in pulling this Isa, so if I hadn't have done that, I would still be looking for this card. But yeah, this stereotype PC is definitely the hardest one to find for sure. And then for the special photo cards, I decided to collect two more members just because it was kind of the odd card out and these are pretty easy to get. So I have Isa, Saiyan, Obviously I wanted to collect my top three and then for my fourth member, I didn't really care who I collected, but I thought this Yoon balanced out this page just because she's like going in towards the left and then Sumin and Seyun are inside and then Isa and Yoon are outside. So I just feel like it balances out the page nicely. Um, Young Love, I don't have anything for today, but I did buy this card and I traded for this card. So hopefully those arrive for my next video, but we are finishing, well, no, we're almost finishing younglove.com today. I have this Isa, so pretty. I love her lip gloss. Her makeup looks amazing here. Then on this page, I have this Isa, cute. So yeah, the regular album photo cards for Young Love. I mean, we need love are done. Um, and I did buy her DigiPack photo card as well. And in these two slots, I'm gonna put their special edition photo cards from Teddy Bear. I do have the full member set, but I will store the other members in a moment. But I just thought that these would work well here. And I'm storing them out of age order because they make the heart if I put them this way. So yes, that is this page. Then for Teddy Bear, I don't have that much to be honest, I have three cards. I was only able to trade for three cards this era. It was very difficult. And I don't know why, like, Suman was impossible to trade for. I guess the pink hair, like, really made people want to collect her this era. And, you know, I love that Suman is getting more love, but it was just so hard to trade. But I'm thankful that I was able to find these cards. I have this Isa for the Digipacks. I'm hoping that I will complete this with the polls from my fix lot group order. So I'm not too stressed about it. And then on this page, I'm going to store the other four members for the special edition version. I honestly did not need to buy the special edition version because these cards are actually selling for really cheap now. But I don't know, if you tell me anything is like limited in stock, I'm gonna wanna buy it, so yeah. It would have been such a sleigh if Yoon would have been going the other way and then they all would have made a heart. But alas, we cannot always get what we want and that's okay. These cards are still super cute. And finally for Stacy, I have the last two cards I wanted to collect for Poppy. So this is her membership, or not membership, member cover um, photo card. And then this is the Everline Fansign photo card for Poppy. So cute, I'm so glad I decided to join for this. One of my favorite cards of her, honestly. So yeah, that's that. Poppy is finally done. And then this page is for the Teddy Bear Japanese comeback. I'll have stuff for that in my next storing video. But now we can get into Ning Ning. Oh my God, I'm so excited to store these photo cards. You have no idea. I have quite the stack for her. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Let's go. Um, I don't have anything for the new comeback. I did not buy um, the new comeback. I'm probably just gonna buy her cards, honestly. This Ning Ning photo card, my favorite Ning Ning card of all time. So happy to have her back in my collection. Um, but the Espa comeback was amazing. Probably my favorite Espa album to date. Spicy is not my favorite Espa title track. Black Mamba will always be, she will always be my number one. But I think the album as a whole is their most cohesive body of work. And I really, really enjoy the B-sides and I'm really proud of them. Um, and they're also going on tour, which is crazy. I am like on the fence on if I want to go. I might try. The show is on a weekend for me and it's at the Staples Center, which I enjoy. So I might try and go, but we shall see. Um, I think ticketing is next week. So I might just like see what happens. Um, I don't know what the pricing is going to be. We'll get there when we get there. But yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really happy with this comeback. They deserve. Okay, for girls. I'm missing one photo book card, but I do have it on the way. Um, and then it, for this, I double-sided the Polaroid and the, I don't know what you call this, the holo card, um, just to like save space. 
so it would all fit on one of four pockets. And then lastly, I have her membership version. PCs from the SMCU Palace release. I don't think I'm gonna collect anything else from SMCU Palace because this fits really well in her collection. And I did set up for the new comeback, six photo cards. I'm not collecting the Polaroid and I'm not collecting the trading card. I'm just gonna collect her selfie photo cards. I don't know when I will start working on the new comeback. I'm doing a, a bit of a hiatus from buying on Mercari Japan, just because I did two basically like back-to-back -back orders because one thing in my first order didn't arrive in time. So I basically ha had to make a second order. So yeah, I'm gonna be, taking a little bit of a break. I probably won't start a new Mercari Japan order until July. So hopefully the cards will be cheap then? <laughs> Question mark. I might also post a wish list and see if anyone wants to like cross trade for any of these cards, but that's my plan. And this is my Ning Ning collection. Oh my god, she's so cute. I love her so much. She is such like a main slayer. I, I can't even... I can't even deal, but okay, that was it for this binder today. Okay, that was it for my mini binders. I feel like I usually have more for my mini binders, but I have more for the big binders today. So we can just get into my pre-order benefit and sign binder and you will see the first change. I have moved all of Jaehyun's pops and fan signs into this big binder is very new i literally just did this like last night so i'm still getting used to it i don't know if i like it yet i put his di con stuff in here because why not so yeah tbd on if i'll keep it like this i don't know i really liked how everything looked in the a5 binder but i feel like his collection is just growing too quickly to be in an a5 binder so just being proactive about you know making sure his collection has room to grow but for this page I separated it by era so this is sticker I have this card I forget what card this is someone told me in a comment um, but I can't remember so yeah that's this page I am going to try and get like one more card I think to replace this because this is technically merch so yeah, I know I'm missing a few fan signs from Sticker, so I might try and pick one up to just swap out this hollow. And then for favorite, I have this card. Are these the shoppy cards? I don't know. Do you all care? <laughs> these cards are so old. So yes, so we have a full nine pocket for favorite, which is fun. And two baddies, I have his lucky draw C. Finally. So we are almost done just waiting on his two YZY cards. I don't know if there were more rounds than two, but I'm gonna stop here because I think two full pages of pobs for two baddies is more than enough. So yeah, I don't know when those will come. Those will come whenever they come basically. And then we can get into AO. I have so many cards for AO. I'm really, really excited. And I'm so pissed that I threw out all of my sticky notes because that is how I knew what all of these cards were. And now I'm just confused. So I will try to tell you what all these cards are, but if I mess it up, I'm sorry. So we have his SM unboxing card. I know this is for sure the unboxing card. We have this one. I believe this is Apple Music. Very cute. I love this card. And then we have Soundwave. I'm pretty sure <laughs> these places love not putting their store names on the back. This was Target and this was K-Town for you. I believe this is Music Plant. This one. And I believe this is Sonara, which we do not support Sonara in this house anymore. I joined this group order before um, I knew about that whole situation. So yeah, I will not be buying directly from Sonara moving forward. But And then we have his two Mumo photo cards. So I think I'm going to put this one here because then I'll have like a diagonal row for this. And then I have this one. So this one was for the photo book version and this one was for the Digipack and S-Mini. And yeah, I think that's all I have for 
AO today, but look at this full page of pre-order benefits. So cute. I love them all so much. I love the variety. Like I know like this isn't really giving, but I still love it. Y you all know, I don't need to say it. I say it every video, like I love Jaehyun, but that was all I had for him. I don't have any of my perfume stuff yet. Um, that will arrive when, whenever it decides to arrive. Um, next we have Sumin. So for Sumin, I did go ahead and downsize my pre-order benefit collection for her. I was, I was just getting overwhelmed. Like we all, we already know, I've been having a very hard time <laughs> with my collections lately. I have been feeling really all over the place with like what I want to collect and how I want to organize things. So yes, I have not sold any of the pre-order benefits that I've taken out of this binder yet. I'm still in the phase of like seeing how I feel without them in the binder. So we shall see. They might make their way back in here at some point, but for now, this is what I have. So this page is basically like a stereotype and then younglove.com. So I have these two PCs for younglove.com. This one was like a holy grail card for me. I really wanted that PC. And this is a lucky draw. So yeah, that's this page all done. Cute. And then we need love. I downsized to just one nine pocket page. And I think it looks really cute. I love the backs. They're so colorful. And then teddy bear, I'm keeping my setup the same. Once I get my fix lock group order, I will store all the cards in a storing video. And then over time, I'll probably just start downsizing like one page at a time. Um, but I do just want to like be able to see all the cards in my binder before I start making decisions about downsizing. So yeah, that's why this is still set up as per usual this page i have her wonder wall lucky draws i'm pretty sure these are what they were or were these with moo i don't even know they did so much and that's what's got me scared like teddy bear was a single album there were literally two songs on the album and they did so many photo cards and that makes me scared and then we have this one and I didn't even collect everything. That's the thing too. Like I have four full pages and this isn't even everything. So yeah, I don't know. Oh, they are with Moo. These are the with Moo Lucky Draws and the Polaroid Mabi. And then I do have both of her broadcasts. So yeah, that's super exciting. This one. Am I salty that this looks exactly like one of her album photo cards? Yes, <laughs> but it's fine. They're still super cute and I'm still super excited to have them in my collection. So yeah, that's all I had for Teddy Bear today. Still waiting on my fix slot, but I think that should be coming in the next month or so. So that's exciting. And then lastly, we have 17. I do have some 17 stuff today for this binder. For my In the Soup page, I have these two cards. This was from the photo book, I believe, that they always come out with for In the Soup. So I joined a group order for... Chol and Mingyu. Go down here. We love the LA Dodgers rep. Very cool. And then I did buy this Chol. So next story in Photo Hearts video, I will have that card and my In the Soup page will be complete. Love that for me. Um, and then this page, I think I set this up. I have S. Krups's Target photo card on the way. So that's what this is for. And then for Mingyu, I actually have his Target photo card on hand. I traded for this. I traded my Joshua, I believe, for Mingyu. And I did have to have to sacrifice my June to get us coops, which was very sad. But you know, we have to do what we have to do. And I did pull DK um, as my third Target photo card. And he's super freaking cute. So I'm gonna keep him and he's just gonna go on my dump page for now. And that is that yeah this page these are just cards that i like that i want to keep so they just stay here they're not like well these are technically pre-order benefits but i didn't want to incorporate them into these cards for whatever reason so yeah that was it for escapes and mingyu it's so weird like i have not joined any group orders for pre-order benefits for fml for them i i have a few coming just because i joined like the a carrot version go and my gome bought from weavers so i'm just getting those pops because that's where the gome bought from but 
yeah, I haven't like intentionally joined group orders to get fan sign cards. I feel like I'm just kind of starting to be a bit over the whole fan sign photo card thing, which is either character growth or concerning. I don't know. But yeah, that was it for this binder today. Next we can do 17. I do have a few things for 17 today. Not a ton, but a few. And we do need to go to face the sun first. Oh my god, insanity. Because excitingly, I have DK's Weaver set for Face the Sun. Never thought I'd see the day where I own these cards, but here we are. It happened. He's here. I'm so freaking excited. So Face the Sun is finally, finally complete. Oh my gosh, what a journey, truly. What a journey. Oof. It was rough. Face the Sun was rough. Sector 17 wasn't as bad, but yes. Okay, and now Busok Soon. Oh my god, I can finally put away all of my Busok Soon photo cards. That's how long I've been hanging on to these. Like, truly, it has been years. But yeah, I have everything I need for DK to complete him. So I think I remember where I want everything to go. So we have his Weaver's Global pre-order benefit. Very cute. I traded my Hoshi for this one. Um, hmm. Okay, I want the orange hair ones in the middle. So this is his Kino. And I wanted that one in like the middle, middle. I'm gonna have to fix that off camera so it's more in line. I have Bunana on the back, so I'll have to fix that. But um, that's his Kino, and then these are two of his uh, Weaver's version cards, the selfies. Um, do I like that? I think I want to switch that actually, because he's like actually pointing in this one. I feel like DK always leans this way in his selfies, but I think it looks better with this one to the left, and then the Weaver's concept is going to go up top and then the photo book card is going to go on top as well because they're all in the same outfit which is really cute and then the last two are his special version photo cards so I'm going to put this one in the middle because it's my favorite like what an icon and then we have this one and he's in the same outfit in this so I think it looks good that they're opposite each other but yeah that is Busok soon complete it was a lot easier to collect than I thought it would be um which gives me hope for future 17 unit releases hopefully they're all this easy but yeah I love how this looks he's so cute and little boo on the back incredible we love to see it so for FML I literally have three photo cards <laughs> to store which is awful um, I think I need to change how I go about collecting 17 because this era, and really all eras prior to this, I have realized that I absolutely hate trading 17 photo cards. Like during a comeback, I just, I think it's a me thing, first of all. I don't think it's anyone else's fault, but I think I just get really overwhelmed with the amount that I collect for them that when I like go to trade and people DM me, I like, I don't know what to do. Like I always start by prioritizing Mingyu because historically like Mingyu has always been my problem child. Like he has always been the hardest member to trade for and he's always been the most expensive, but that like literally isn't the case anymore. Escoops and DK are also like kind of hard to trade for and kind of expensive to buy now. So I think like moving forward, I'm just gonna buy a set of albums from Target and that's it. I'm not gonna buy extra copies for 17. Um, I can store the cards while I'm talking about this. This is one of DK's version ones, which I pulled. So he's just gonna go on top. Um, so yeah, I think I'm not gonna buy extra albums for 17 anymore. And I'm honestly just gonna buy a majority of the cards. Like I'll trade my pulls, 
but everything else I'm just gonna buy because that's what I ended up doing for this comeback even though I still have like cards on the way from group orders. I was just feeling really overwhelmed and I went on Mercari Japan and I was able to find full sets for all of them for pretty reasonable. It was like $4 a card, I think, for all of them. That's literally the only album photo card I have. And I was like super happy with that. It was just really easy. I didn't have to stress about it. I didn't have to like trade with a million people. And I think that's the other thing. I just, I don't have a lot of time anymore to trade. And when, I when I'm collecting so many cards, it's just, just overwhelming. And so I think next comeback, I'm gonna try that. Instead of getting like super frustrated and dropping my collection, I'm gonna try something new and we'll see how it goes. Um, I have this Chol Carrot Version card. I also pulled him. So I'm gonna do it like this and like this. I'm collecting my top four for Carrot Version. Which like I do this to myself, like I choose to collect a lot for Seventeen because I love them. So like it's no one's fault but mine. But I think I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit next comeback to make it a little less stressful because you know collecting's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to cause you stress. So yes, I'm just gonna stick this Mingyu here for now. I'll rearrange everything once I have all the cards, which will be soon actually. But I don't think Mingyu has any flower photo cards now that I'm thinking about it. So yeah, we'll see how that all looks. But yeah, that's my progress for FML, literally FML, um, but no, I actually, I have all the photo book cards on the way, um, pending go pulls for the Weavers version, and then I have a bunch of carrot cards on the way because I bought them in sets as well, and I'm also pending a group order for the carrot version, so yeah, it could be worse, it could be worse. Um, I did also buy the deluxe version of the album because it came with the full set of cards. So I'm thinking about how I want to display that in this binder. Um, we shall see. But I did put it in like just one nine pocket page for now. But I know it comes with a lot of cards. So we'll get there when we get there. But yeah, that was it for 17 today. A lot of exciting progress. Literally, I'm all caught up on my collection except for the most recent era. So that's really exciting. 17 tour when like please give me a reason to live please announce the world tour <laughs> i'm begging you because i think the chances of nct 127 going on tour this year are basically slim to none at this point so i am really hinging all my hopes on <laughs> 17 going on tour but yeah that was it for this binder last binder of the day we have my sm boy groups binder so we're gonna start from the back and work our way forward as we do in this binder because I do have Suho cards to put away today. So freaking exciting. By the time I'm filming this, Kai has been enlisted for like two weeks now, I think. Maybe less than that, but it feels like it's been a lifetime. I cannot believe they took him. Like, it's truly absurd. The fact that we did not get a full group EXO comeback this year. Like, I, th I think he's gonna be on the album. Like, I think he finished recording the songs, but like, they're not gonna promote as a full group. And that is just really devastating. We've all waited so long to see them together and we're gonna have to wait even longer. <laughs> it's so cruel. It is like truly sick and twisted how that all went down, but I hope he's doing well. I hope he's you know, doing whatever it is they do in training camp. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, we can never win. Like EXO and EXOLs like literally can never win, but it's gonna be fine. I'm super excited to hear the new music. I am ready for the comeback. I am, I'm ready for all of it. And this is his guest version. This is the membership version. So we are complete now and we just wait for the comeback. I have like really high expectations for this comeback, so we haven't had new EXO music in years. So I am just, I'm waiting. Okay, for Mark, I just have one card. So this Cherry Bomb card, I traded for this a while ago. So that's fun. I don't know, I really have not been working on this collection a lot, um, but I do have this card on the way. So that's exciting. And I think Dream is gonna have a comeback soon. I think Dream is gonna have like a summer comeback, maybe in July. And then we'll get a full group comeback maybe and then the new unit will debut and then we'll get a 127 comeback question mark who knows i feel like sm changes their plans like 10 times a day but that's just what i'm thinking 
based on what we've been told. So for 127, I'm finishing the older eras today for album photo cards, which is so fucking insane. Um, but I have Hei Chan's favorite classic version PC. Boom, thank you, it looks gorgeous. And then I have Johnny and Do Young for the Catharsis version. This is one of my favorite Johnny photo cards, I don't know why. Um, purple looks really good on him though. And then we have Do Young. So this is done. I love the set, this Jungwoo, so cute. And then this is like my favorite Tao photo card of all time. I think he looks so cute. Um, two baddies. I have the infamous Do Young. One of the cutest Do Young cards ever. And that's saying a lot because Do Young has like some of the best photo cards. So this is done. Then the Digipack, another infamous Do Young card. They released a clip of Do Young and Jae Hyun kind of singing I Am by Ive, and Do Young sang it in the original key. And can I just say, NCT vocalists, like NCT is a group of vocalists, and you cannot tell me otherwise. That clip is just, it's just amazing. Like, he's so talented, it's crazy, like, absolutely mind blowing. But, anyways. Um, now we move on to AO. I have all of the cards for the A version, which is very exciting and pleasing to me. I am finally making progress on these sets. Johnny, did I show tail? I always get really excited and I feel like I put the cards away really fast, but I need to not do that. Taeyong. Yuta. One of my favorite Yuta photo cards, like his fit, like the hair, it's everything to me. Jaehyun, again, one of my favorite Jaehyun photo cards as well. Absolutely out of his mind for that. And then Chan. Another really pretty card. I feel like they bumped the saturation up really hard for this one, but I love it. I think he looks so nice. I'm in the blue sky in the back. So yeah, that's version A complete. I am not finishing version B today. I am missing tail, which seems so wrong to me. Like, how am I missing tail? But yeah, I had an extra Jaehyun that I thought I would be able to trade for tail, but no one wanted to trade with me so that's fine but we have johnny butterfly taeyong finally i traded for this it got lost in the mail but thankfully one of my group orders was able to give me him so that worked out very well for me yuta doyoung mark wait Mark's not next, it's Jungwoo. Jungwoo, Jungwoo's cards this era are so nice. But what else is new? And then we have Mark. Cutie. Okay, so yeah, just missing tail. I might join someone's Poke Market group order to buy that, to be honest, because I feel like it would probably be like a dollar on Poke Market, so. And then for the Digi Packs, I'm not finishing this set either. I'm still missing Heichan. So we have Tail and Mark. This Tail PC is so cute. Love him so much. The way Tail is a 94 liner, it like makes my heart skip a beat a little bit. Cause they, they being the military are snatching the 94 liners left, right, and center. It is making me very nervous. Um, and then we have Mark. Okay, so yeah, that's the Digipacks. Almost done. And the S-minis have been done. And then I did put these away in the original video and I was too lazy to take them out, but I did get two pre-order benefit sets for AO. So this is the Mumo Digipack and S-mini version. I did double collect this Jaehyun, but it's fine. And then this is the Soundwave fan sign set. So yes, I was too lazy to take those out, but Finally, we can do Doje Jung. I'm so excited. I just have my polls with me right now, but the next Story and Photo Cards video, I will have a lot more. Hopefully my group orders will have come in by then, but yeah, we still have quite a bit to store today. So starting with the photo book version, I have this Jungwoo. He was my original poll in my album. 
Brady. Oh, I love him. Like this album, it has not been topped as of yet. This is my album of the year so far. And I don't really know who could possibly top them. I'm like thinking in my head, like who who is going, maybe NCT 127, <laughs> um, whenever they have a comeback would, is gonna top Perfume, but I don't really know. This album was just like made for me. And I know I talked about this like at nauseum during my unboxing, but I just like, if you have not listened to this album, you need to listen to it. It's so good. And the stages are so nice as well. The choreo for Perfume goes so hard. Um, so I really, really encourage you to check out the stages if you haven't already. It was just, it was such a magical time. <laughs> Over too soon. But yeah, hopefully we get a Doji Jung comeback in the future because I need more music from them, basically. Also, if SM wanted to send them on like a world fan meeting tour, I would not be opposed. And I would be first in line for tickets, so if they could make that happen, that would be great. But yes, so on this page, I'm gonna do the box version cards up top. So these were just my pulls. So I bought one of each box version. This jungle is so freaking cute. I think eventually I will collect all the box version cards, just not right now. I might have to finish a few other things first before I do that. And then this is the group card I pulled. Cute. I think the other two are like vertical. So I'm gonna put this one in the middle. And then I have the full set of the S mini photo cards because I thankfully pulled it. So yeah, that is the progress so far. Still a lot to go. I have all of their Digipack cards secured. I bought them off of Mercari Japan. So I just need to worry about the photo books, really. Um, but again, I have group orders coming in, so I'm not going to start buying cards just yet for the photo book albums. And yeah, I'm really excited to work on this. I love Doja Jung. Album of the year, artist of the year. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it until the whole world agrees with me. But yes, that is it for today's storing video. I feel like I've been talking for a million years. Hopefully I edited this down a little bit. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put away all these cards. I had a really fun time doing it. And yeah, I will see you soon in another one soon. Bye.